In this video, I'll show you another kind of grade calculations. Grade, again, relates to pipes, drain pipes, as they typically slope. And the situation is illustrated in this picture here, as water is gushing out here. And uh, you have a horizontal measurement, the run of the pipe, and the vertical one, that's the drop of the pipe. And, uh, and the third piece of information is the grade, or the slopiness of this whole situation and it's not given in angles uh, because nobody's walking around with protractor and compass on the job site and it's really impractical it's given in numbers that uh, you put your beam level up there and you can measure with your tape measure directly so there's no need for calculating angles on a job site and that's why sometimes grade is given as either a ratio like that, like 1 over 50, or 1 slash 50, something like that. And it's typically hidden on a corner of a blueprint uh, inconspicuously, so you have to know what it is. It doesn't say, hey, this is the grade here or something. Uh, no, no such stickers on a blueprint. So you have to know what you're looking at. Uh, typically in grade calculations, there's three pieces of information that's given or that uh, that three pieces of information that's used, grade, drop, and run, usually two of them given, third one to be calculated. Last time we calculated drop, uh, this time we are going to calculate the actual grade. For example, we have a certain run that's given on a blueprint, and we built a piece of pipe in with a certain amount of drop, and now we need to know if that drop actually corresponds to the grade that uh, we're supposed to meet. Let's uh, do some math here, for example. And let's do it in inches first and after that in metric. For example, we have a run of, I don't know, 18 feet. I'm just going to write run equals 18 feet, 5 inches and a quarter. How about that one? And we measure the drop with a tape measure and it checks out to be 7 inches and a half inches inches so now we need to know whether indeed if this is a 1 over 50 grade or what the heck have we built and this is how it's done it's best done probably with ratio and proportion uh, you write up ratio and proportion it's really crucial that you don't skip any of these steps 1 over 50 the numerator is always the drop and the denominator is always the run as in these formats of grade, the first number is always the drop, and the second number always means the run. So, drop over run equals, actually, that one is to be calculated. I'm just going to make it x. Okay, now it's a little ugly, but it's x. x over 50, because that's an unknown amount that we want to verify. And we have 7.5 inches. Now, this is the point where you have to be really, really fast with decimal inches converting this to decimal inches because on a calculator seven and a half is going to be problematic I'm just going to go 7.5 inches and if you need to review at this point how to convert from mixed numbers and fractions to decimal inches uh, it's on another video titled converting decimal inches to inches and fractions or something like that now we need to convert 18 feet 5 inches and a quarter to decimal inches because I started with decimal inches so 18 feet is where do I do this 18 feet has that's a times 12 18 times 12 inches in it that's gonna be 18 times 12 as a subtotal of 216 inches plus that 5 216 plus 5 is 221 inches plus that quarter there so that's gonna be 0.25 221, 221.25. I am working in this case with decimal inches that I made out of this feet and inches measurement. Now, next thing to do is cross multiply that one with that one, and then do one piece of division that one. Uh, you can do division first and cross multiply after, but usually it's less trouble if you cross multiply first. Uh, not so much on a calculator, but uh, sometimes even so, because division 
would typically give you infinite decimals, and if you multiply that, you're multiplying the potential of error. So let's go 50 times 7.5 divided by 221.25 equals 1.69. So that x equals 1.69. And it doesn't have a dimension. This number, this 1 over 50, it means again uh, 1 inch over 50 inches or 1 feet over 50 feet or 1 meter over 50 meters. It doesn't matter which measurement you're using as long as you're using the same measurement in both of those numbers. Likewise, these two numbers are very advisable to be of the same unit of measurement. They don't have to be. There is other possible combinations that work. You can see them on my ratio and proportion videos titled Writing Up Ratio and Proportion. So there is uh, four possible versions that work and four combinations that don't. Just go with just go with a bulletproof version, everything in inches, okay? That usually uh, doesn't cause any problem. So the desired grade was 1 over 50, and what is actually built in this configuration with the 7.5 inch drop over a 221 and a quarter inch run is uh, 1.69 over 50. So it's sloping a little more than requested, but that's the calculation. Let's do one in metric, double quick. In metric, a run is given, for example, three meters, I don't know, eight centimeters and one millimeter. And there's a drop as well. You know what, we just measure the five centimeters and we really want to know what the grade of this thing is over 50, because that was on the previous page, so it's again x over 50 equals, the drop is 5 centimeters, so I'm just going to plug that one in, because that's an easy number, and now we need to convert all of this into centimeters. Well, 3 meters is 300 centimeters, how do I write there, ah, you can see it, so 3 meters is 300 centimeters, the 8 centimeters is 8 centimeters, and the 1 millimeter, it needs to be converted to centimeters, and uh, uh, if you need to refresh your memory on converting metric within metric, uh, do watch another video of mine titled Metric Conversion. And uh, in it, you can see these jump lines that I'm going to go through. So, right up, millimeters are here, centimeters are there. And uh, the, let me see, we are going from millimeters to centimeters. From millimeters, two centimeters, so we're moving one decimal spot that way. So I'm gonna write down the one, I'm moving the decimal one spot over there, that's 0 0.1. Now it's a little bit ugly, but 300 plus eight plus 0 0.1 is 308 0.1 centimeters. So now we have centimeters everywhere, and these will just automatically become centimeters. And uh, let's do some uh, cross multiply, uh, standard procedure, and then divide. 50 times 5 divided by that number that 301.1 equals 0 0.8. Yeah, can you guys see it? A little bit of glare on it. That should work. 0 0.8 is close enough for x. 0 0.8. So this one doesn't have enough slope. It's kind of close enough, but it's not 1 to 50 either. So this is another calculation how to verify your grade using metric numbers. Just practice it, fellows, just as with everything, and uh, should be able to do it just as fast as I do.